This is garlic. I do garlic a lot. And I like the uh, curry, sandwich sprinkles, poultry seasoning. More than the sweet side. So I have a piece of canvas here, so everything I do to it, the energy is in the canvas. Let's see if that's wet. Yeah. I probably should frame this paper. It's like the palettes. This is probably six months. This is the second time I've created one of these. That's to cover it up at night. What guides you when you're working? Uh, if you think about that. Some people don't even think about that. They just work. So I'm trying to, right now in all this work, and it's been a couple of years, I'm trying to, to create something in paint that allows people to transition. It's like you're, there's a veil here all the time. Musicians and other artists transition. You're stepping into that transcendent part that I believe you, that's where you go when you're all done here. But you can get there, and when I'm painting, I'm there. I'm, I'm moving back and forth. Some days are better than others, but that's the, the veil. So if you can actually, <clears throat> you can do it with realistic work, a little harder, but you, you, you go into the work. So the pace of it and all that other stuff. So maybe the next thing I would do is uh, pick a color. So I either look at what's on here. Maybe I'll just take a little red. Wabi Sabi is the other strong draw for me. And it's process, accident, chance, imperfection, and then moving with that. So again, this is one I read and reread. This is maybe uh, 10 years. So when you get older, you pick a few things you like that seem to move you. That's what you do. You're not reading novels and novels and novels. It's, it's things that are affecting you deeply. So it's these two things. So again, the, it's Wabi Sabi. So these two right now. This is 1995. This whole batch. 
So I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, uh, how am I going to incorporate this or am I in the new work? And I used to have that. I used to have work that was over around to give me ideas. So we go over here. And of course, I collect things. This is in my bread collection. <laughs> And I use them for shapes, so I'll trace the outside uh, as a, a shape on a on a sketch or something like that to use. <laughs> oh, this is one of the things I use to take paint off. So I try to use uh, process and chance rather than deliberate action when I'm painting. You can see what's the texture on there. That's just random. And you work with that when it gets uh, on the canvas. So anything you have that can make a mark, you just use it. If that's the way you want to work. these mostly to clean uh, wood that I use sometimes. I also use the, this, I just roll it on there. If I got paint on there, I just roll it on there to work with. So I don't think about, oh I see this and I'm going to paint it. It's a, it's a dance with the paint. And there's a rhythm, you know, all the stuff the incense, the music, uh, to get you going. And it doesn't have to be that long, but it can still take you a couple months to finish the work. Or it's never finished because it doesn't feel right. Okay, so how do you put it on here? Again, that's infinite. So I'm going to try to make it kind of roundish in here. If you think about it, it's not going to work. So there it is. Okay, so I'm going to, I have a lot of options with this, but you don't sit here and think about it. There's a lot of moisture on there. You can get down there and see where it is. And so I was saying, I don't really want to go in there, but I'm going to go ahead and do it right in here. Okay, that's pretty wet. keep going. So I'm going to leave that and I'm going to take this, that piece that I have here, I happen to like that color. I'm just going to put some water on there. I, I forgot to put the pencil. So let's see what happens when I take pencil. around some. Let's see what the next step is here. Now if you sit here and do little fine hairlines, maybe that's your personality. So if you want your subconscious to come out, you got to go quick.
and you can stop anytime because you can always do more. And just to show you, they say, well, geez, it's not, uh, there's something, whatever, or I want to do something else. You can keep going. So I haven't shown you how to take stuff off. So you can either do it directly with a paper towel, a rag, and you can even use your finger to paint with. Play with that some. So you can actually lift things if you want to change things. And I'm a landscape painter, so I'm already seeing something where this could be water in here behind that. Now let's say it was not what you wanted. You say right off the top, oh, I don't even, that shape, I don't like that shape. Well, like I said, this is not, this is technique. So I'm kind of working with it, but I'm not. So you can put this on here. Even that's going to take something off, but you can just gently and you can even drag some and that's what I took off. And somebody might say, well, what are you doing? Well, I'm do just doing something and then I'm reacting to it after it's done. So it takes a long time to figure that out. How does paint react? Whatever it is you're using, or a pencil. And you could say, like this one, you might go, oh gee, I really liked that before. Well, there is no before. Now it's this. So you react to this. You can't think about what it was. I might say, geez, I really like that piece in there. I still remember it. But it's gone. It's not my vision, it's your vision. And that's abstraction. 